Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. My name is Mayela Almazan, and today I'm delighted to be sharing information for you for Menstrual Hygiene Day 2017 with Antoinette Maweni from Homeopathy Litrim. Hello, Antoinette. Hi, Mayela. Thank you so much for inviting me on here. I'm delighted. Very good. Um, and it is recording now, yes. <laughs> so we are good, good to go. Um, Antoinette um, is a very active homeopath in social media. And in order for us to um, offer you something special on this Menstrual Hygiene Day, I thought about uh, contacting her, asking her to go home, do some homework on uh, remedies, homeopathic remedies um, to share, to deal, uh, to help us deal with menstrual issues. Antoinette has been a practicing homeopath for 13, 13 years, is that right? Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to very quickly read the mission statement of um, Menstrual Hygiene Day, Antoinette, so people know what this is all about. This is a, a, a daily, a, a worldwide event run every year, 28th of May. And the vision is to create a world in which every woman and girl can manage her menstruation in a hygienic way, wherever she is, in privacy, safety, and with dignity. Menstrual Hygiene Day um, has a theme every year, and the theme this year is education. And this is perfect uh, because what Antoinette is going to be sharing with us today are tips and remedies, some remedies, homeopathic remedies, as I said, to, to help us deal with the usual issues that we may have um, around uh, menstruation, premenstruation, or something like this. So, Tell us more about this, Antoinette, what they are, why you chose these remedies, and how to go about using them, hopefully. Self-empowerment, education for women. Right. So I have chosen three remedies um, that are a little different from the normal remedies that you would pick for uh, menstrual issues. You know, if you just Google homeopathy and painful periods or whatever, you'll come up with pulsatilla for sure, sepia, and I don't know, maybe mag fast for cramping. So I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And these are some of my favorite remedies. And these are the ones I would probably use most frequently in my practice as well. So like you said, Mayella, these are very easy to get hold of. They are all in your local health food shop or get them online. And what I love about homeopathy is it's cheap and it's meant to be cheap. It's very, very effective, but it's cheap and it's affordable and anybody can access it. And so, but before I, before I get into the remedies, I do want to say that there are thousands of different remedies, thousands. And if these three do not suit like, or do not sound like they, they suit your particular needs, then get in touch or, you know, email me to get more information. Just because I'm talking about these three, and it doesn't mean that that's all there is for menstrual issues. Of course, and, and we, will share it, your, we will share your details at the end of this, um, at the end of this, so that if people are interested, they can reach out, as you said, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So the first remedy is cocculus, and this is a plant remedy. And the woman who needs this remedy is exhausted. She's absolutely worn out. And I see this a lot with mums of young children. This is called the Night Watcher's Remedy. So it's great for people who are up at night time looking after somebody else. And everybody else's needs being put before their own. So they are in a state of exhaustion. And that's even before the period comes along. When they do get their period, then they, are, they feel dizzy. Again, that goes back to the exhaustion. The periods, there's something something a little amiss with the period itself. It's it could be it could be too early, it could be um, it could be absent altogether. Um, and they feel they feel dizzy, faint, they just want to stand still. The tummy is very bloated and uh, full of wind, the digestion is off. And then when the blood starts to flow, it can gush. And they often describe the sensation of gushing, especially when they stand up, it's just gushing. But again, that's exhaustion in the body. It's not able to hold that menstrual blood there. Oh, Antoinette, I'm listening to this thinking, have I had this? Of course I have had this. Carry on, please. Yeah, yeah. loads, loads of women have this. And it's not just for women who are looking after small kids. It could be 
uh, women who are looking after elderly parents. There's mm. always a carer aspect in this one. They're looking after somebody and their own needs are being pushed to one side. I think this remedy should be given to women leaving the hospital with their new babies. I think they should all have it. So tell me this, Antoinette, is this remedy to be given because there are certain, uh, we're not going to get into a lot of detail because there's different uh, potencies or volumes or uh, strengths that you can give this remedies on and there is a reason why you use some and is you use others and we're not going to get into detail because we don't have time for this but what would be the potency or the strength of this remedy that you would suggest the only one that you'll be able to the only one you'll be able to buy yourself is 30c and that's all you need it's, that's what you'll get in the in the online pharmacies or whatever so um you put one pill and with homeopathy it's not like you have to take three, four times, you know, three pills four times a day for seven days. It doesn't work like that. You just take remedies until you start to feel better and then you reduce the dosage. So I would say if you're feeling like this, you have the gushing sensation, you're exhausted, you feel dizzy, spacey, a lot of pain, send it to me. Put one pill into a glass of water and it actually doesn't matter the size of the glass. You give it a stir. And you can sip it throughout the day. You could sip it every 15 minutes in the beginning if it's very bad. And then you could stretch out the gaps to maybe hourly. But it doesn't, it doesn't substitute a good night's sleep. It will give you the energy to get you through the day and it will help with the period pains, but it's not a substitute for sleep. So that is the first one. Um, I have all my, have everything written on post-it notes. Really good. Them... That's okay, Antoinette, just before you move on to the next one. So how many days can they take this for? Um, they could take it, usually one day is enough, two days. Um, but it's a great remedy to take just for when you're feeling generally exhausted as, as well. You know, it's not just for when you have your periods, but definitely a great one for menstrual issues with the gushing. Remember the gushing for that. The one. gushing is the key word and fantastic. If you want, if not, if things don't improve, of course, we're talking about going to your general practitioner. And if you're into this kind of thing, of course, get in touch with Antoinette for more, for a more individualized um, attention. attention yeah. But this covers this covers a lot of, of women. It's it's a Oof. really good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one I have is um lachesis. And um lachesis is a snake remedy. And um, but of course it's only made from the energy of the snake. There's no organic substance in this. So this is a remedy to think of if you're feeling particularly irritable or very sharp tongued. <laughs> and we spoke about this the other day. This is what we call PMS or PMT. And I have an issue with those terms as well. Like we were talking about the other day. It's like the days when you finally, finally see things clearly and you express what has been suppressed for the rest of the month. But some people find that very difficult to deal with, especially partners. Um, so if you're feeling uncomfortable yourself with being so snappy and so irritable, then laxus is possibly a good remedy for you. Now you can go deeper. You can start to feel a little um, superstitious, suspicious, paranoid. A lot of, I have, I have been in this state. I know mm, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely um, recognize myself in that one too. And also because throughout yeah. our cyclic life, there may be times where we're more into the tiredness with the young yeah. kids that you mentioned, and then at other times, even you may have the two. Can we mix the two remedies, Antoinette, or no? You, would, um, you wouldn't normally have the two states at the one time. Okay, that's so good you, to know. Yeah, um, but you could have one state this month and maybe be in a completely different state the next month. Okay. So you just change the remedy to, to match the state. Um, with this remedy, um, there's this feeling of tension inside. Um, if you think of the snake, the snake is ready to jump into action. So a woman who's in this state feels this tension and they are better for releasing the tension. But sometimes that tension comes out as, you know, given out and being, you know, complaining. Um, and then sometimes it comes out as blood and they feel better once there's a flow of blood. As soon as the blood starts to flow, they feel better immediately because it's that release. So that is lachesis. Often the blood is very dark. Can be a dark, um, a dark blood, lots of clots, and that's okay. There's there's nothing wrong with that. And 
Okay, so that's that's the second one. Um, this is I a more a high like energy one. I can identify and think I, of many women I know that also will be in that yeah. kind of state. Uh -huh. Fabulous. Yeah. Number three then. Number three is Nux vomica, which is another um, plant remedy and it's often known as the hangover remedy. Hmm. But it has lots and lots of uses. It, this is great for people who are sitting down all day, you know, working in an office, don't get to move around that much. So the energy stagnates and the blood stagnates as well. It doesn't get to flow and it causes a buildup of pressure that even can go back into the stomach and cause digestive issues. Mm. So if you have lots of heartburn, acid, indigestion, this is a good remedy. Um, they too feel very, very irritable, very contrary, but they want to be left on their own. The previous remedy, Laxus, is irritable and contrary, but doesn't necessarily want to be left on their own. A woman who needs Nux Vomica doesn't want to talk to anybody, just leave her alone in her office, sitting down. She certainly doesn't want to stand up and she will often feel better just by holding her stomach and bending double. So I'm oh. sure you've seen women like that as well, where they just have to bend over. Um, they will drink, keep themselves going with lots and lots of tea and coffee throughout the day. So I hope I've explained that okay, that there are three different remedies, three mm. different remedies and three different reasons. Yes, this is wonderful because it's it's uh, the descriptions that you've given for each are so detailed that it help, definitely helps us uh, look for which which of the three we identify ourselves more with and then go for that remedy. Antoinette, um, please give us uh, your Facebook page is Homeopathy Litrum, isn't that right? Yeah, Homeopathy Litrum, and so I'm quite active there. And then I have a private group which you won't find because of the settings, but it's called Antoinette Homeopathy and Self-Care. And if you want to be part of that group, there's 440 women in it. And we just support each other. You know, we help each other pick remedies for our kids, for ourselves and whatever. It is actually quite difficult to pick a remedy for ourselves, Mayela. So, mm. you know, when you're in the middle of it, you can't see the woods for the trees. So it might be better to ask somebody else yes. to yes. tell you what, what they see um, from a safe distance. <laughs> Yes, no, it, it is definitely the case that it, other people see what we may not be able to see. And lastly, um, your um, web page and your email, please. My web page is antoinettemcqueenie.com and my email is antoinettemcqueenie at gmail.com. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much indeed, Antoinette. That's been a fantastic three remedies um, for three situations where we can find ourselves during our, um, just before or during our menstrual cycle. So look out for the symptoms. They're very detailed. Um, if you have one or the other, you can choose them. Where can we get this kind of remedy? Normally, there's homeopathic uh, pharmacies online and this kind of place. Antoinette? Yeah, or you can get in touch with me. I can... I can send out the remedies, but if you have a local health food shop, you know, a lot of them have them. Yeah, because I have to say the Nooks one was I saw one that I had heard of, but the other two I never heard of. Okay. Uh, so if, if, if we can order them beforehand from, maybe yeah. it would be a good idea to have the three <laughs> and see what comes next month. Um, but if you don't fit into any of those three, or if you try the remedy for a day, and nothing changes then by all means get in touch with Antoinette your local GP of yeah. course first and foremost Antoinette as well or your local homeopath thank you very much Antoinette this you're is very fun. welcome it's been lovely, it's lovely to talk to you and happy menstrual hygiene day yeah and same to you <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much <laughs>